Today we're working on a 2002 Mazda Protégé. We're replacing the spark plugs on this car. Total of four, one, two, three, four. There's uh, ignition packs, two of those that have to be re removed, and a total of four bolts to get that done. We use a number 10 millimeter socket to do that with, and there's really not much torque to it, just a little bit, and it breaks loose, and we remove all four bolts. Upon removal, we can just lift the ignition coil packs and pull out the ignition wires. Now, the ignition wires are a little harder to do, so you're tempted to put like a screwdriver underneath, but don't. Just work it, maybe with both hands, to, to get it out. Here I am with a Sharpie just marking where everything came out of, so I can put everything back in its correct location. We remove the, the boots. And again, sometimes using two hands will help you get that boot out. Again, we're not using any tools to pry that thing out. So you get the coil packs out of the way, the wires set out of the way. Just gently lay them off to one side. And then we look inside each of the spark plug ports to make sure that there is no oil, fuel, or coolant. All four of these are dry, indicating that there are no issues there. Now we get a 5 8 spark plug socket with a 3 8 extension bar. That'll drop all the way down into the engine. It'll catch the spark plug. And then once we're sure it's there, we apply our ratchet and just break it loose and start working it out. I like generally removing the ratchet once it's broken loose and just undoing it by hand because I can work a little bit faster that way. We are installing NGK spark plugs per the owner's manual. There's a cold and a hot type. I'm going with the cooler one which is the 6E. We'll need of course a set of four of these. This plug is a 14 millimeter gasket type. There's a tapered version that's available for other cars, but for this particular model, it is the gasket version that we have to use. It takes 18 to 21 pounds of torque, or a half to three quarter turns if you're hand tightening once you get to the bottom. I, of course, check the gap, even though these are all pre-gapped by the manufacturer. We insert the spark plug into the spark plug socket, you see how snug it is? That's because we're using the right tool. A regular socket would have just fallen out of. We hand tighten, thereby preventing any cross threading. And once it's down to where it's seated, then I'll attach the torque wrench and torque it down to the specification of 21 pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, one half to two thirds of a final turn will achieve the same thing. And that's the click that tells us we're at 21 pounds. And then we take out our tool, generally a little shaking will get it out. Sometimes if you're not lucky, you only get the extension and not the socket. So reinsert it and just jiggle around and it will come loose. Now we continue this process of removing one plug and then replacing one plug and that's just a personal preference if you like you can actually take out all four plugs and insert four new plugs as you remove each spark plug inspect it for any unusual wear if you have any questions go to ngksparkplugs.com for their diagnostic chart once we've torqued our last spark plug it is time to reattach the ignition packs and the wire set and you'll notice that the the coil packs will just drop in and the only thing that really holds them in place are the two bolts that we took out whereas the wire sets you can actually hear them snap not so much on that one but that's how you can tell that they've attached Let's see if we get any sound on this on this last one. 
there you go that snap indicates it's all the way in then we make sure all the harnesses are properly set and everything's tightened and then we attach the bolts there's no torque setting for this just hand tightening it so it's snug check all the connections make sure everything's good and then finally we turn on the engine and make sure there's no misfiring going on and we've completed our spark plug change if you found this video useful please give us a thumbs up leave us a comment subscribe or all three but in any case thank you for watching